Yeah, it's thrown me this morning and it's January the 22nd. It is Wednesday. Hubby hasn't got overtime today. Well, he hadn't this morning. Now, this is a shocker because normally um, a few days leading up to Christmas, he doesn't have ho overtime. But normally this time of year, they're swamped. But for some reason, no overtime. So everything's out by about an hour. Um, you know what it says, even his clock was out because he still woke up um, before half five thinking the alarm was going off when he actually had another hour, bless him. Yeah, so I've got Minnie Mouse on again this morning. I might have the Cookie Monster dressing gowned on soon for a change. Um, so this has thrown me because, like I said, it's 20 to 8. I've got an hour and I'm going to be out. And as I said, this has really thrown me because I've usually had breakfast by now and everything. Um, I did go to bed um, to read. Um, I couldn't get comfortable with my legs. And then a shocker after an hour, I got up to watch Leverage with them. They couldn't understand it. I just could not get comfortable, not even in bed. Um, then I went back to bed with when the family went up and spent three quarters now trying to get to sleep couldn't ended up reading for half an hour which i think <laughs> hubby wasn't very impressed with but he's getting used to that now there's no point in getting me stressed out because i can't sleep i'd rather i know you're not supposed to lay in bed and read um but it makes my eyes tired and very often i can go back after sleep so after half an hour of reading, which I should have done really when I realised I wasn't going to settle straight away, I did fall asleep and I might have got about five, five and a half hours, maybe a bit longer, because although hubby was awake before the alarm, the light was on and I lamp and I said to him, I said, oh, I said, as the first, when the alarm went off, I said, is that the first or the second? We have two alarms off on half hour alarm clock then there's our son's alarm so seven days a week normally alarms are going off <laughs> um our son's pretty good he doesn't usually press the snooze button you know it's good but uh, when our eldest son lived at home yeah snooze button snooze button snooze button <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> but bless him so yeah getting used to it um Again, enough waffling about alarms and getting up. It's just thrown me a little bit because I have got craft group this morning and hopefully, I didn't show you how far I got with our junk books. Um, maybe when I come back after this session, I can show you. Um, we just basically um, started covering the outside of our books and I discussed, although I'm not taking the lead on this one, my friend is, um, we discussed, obviously, the previous week and last week. Um, I said to them, you know, is there a theme? You know, I know there can be junk um, books. You can put anything and everything in. It's like a junk journal. Um, or do you have a theme? Mine is, dare I say, going in for, I think, antiquing, black, cream, that sort of thing. I want to include black and white um, photographs, personal photographs, that is. I'd like to include a um, photo of um, us getting married in black and white and things. And I want to use positive quotes. Mine is a mixture of memories and quotes. A positive, I want to call mine maybe a positive junk book or something like that. You know, not necessarily memories, but that's what's going to be but a positive memory book or whatever. That's enough waffling on that. I'm going to think that one through, what I'm going to call it. Um, but hopefully, you know, I might get a couple of pages done. Today, I think we are discussing about taking pages out for preparation for putting things in. I have been pulling um, pieces out um, to include in my book. So watch this space. This might be an ongoing um, piece. So we shall see about that. Not sure what I'm going to get done today. I want to continue with Hubby's wardrobe. Yes, bless him. Quickly seen a snip when he came in. He um, he was actually home normal time, um, as if he was doing overtime. 
um don't know what happened there i did get concerned because i got worried you know i knew it was going to supposed to be in home an hour earlier but there you go just things happen and very often you know you get stuck in traffic um yes yeah, so if you're a standstill yeah you can you're supposed to pull over if you want to use your phone there's nothing like getting caught on the phone even you know i think it's if your engine's running as well um, it's a bit of a dodgy thing, but hubby doesn't like to obviously um, risk it. My son has actually pulled over when he's been stuck in traffic, cut his engine, text me to say he's going to be late, stuck in traffic, then put start his engine up again and off he goes. Um, it's just, um, you know, a safety thing. You know, you don't want to get fined for looking so you're on your phone. Um, I think it's just a grey area. Yeah, waffling about just general stuff going back to today yeah i want to continue with hubby's wardrobe um like i said i've got the upstairs now standstill and i won't go through this because i think i discussed this yesterday i think um there's certain areas i cannot progress on unless i've got another family member present due to the fact it's their stuff their stuff um, I did do the top box because I knew what my hubby worn and I just wanted to rotate. There is um, certain things that, you know, he hasn't worn. Um, so I wanted to rotate those. Um, not much came out, but it may come when we start the second of his wardrobes with the work clothes. If I thought about it, yeah, I could have started with that wardrobe, but there's more stuff in that one than there is this one. This one is um, a little bit more uniform, dare I say. So um, today it might be a case of um, pulling all his um, tops and T-shirts and everything out, um, putting on the bed. They are colour-coordinated. So that's what I might do, do that bit. Maybe the bottom... I've got a sneaky feeling there's nothing on the bottom to get rid of. I may be wrong. Um, pull it all out, dust it, put it all back. Um, because he doesn't have much footwear and what he has got, he uses. So that there might be none of that. He did get rid of a pair of trainers, which was right at the beginning of my um, organisation and decluttering. Um, so yeah and so did I um, my son's got to get rid of one pair of trainers I think but that will come under his so enough waffling I'm going to keep saying this because it's quarter to eight I have got to get ready because I'm out the door in less than an hour so I'm not even going to get um, my 30 minutes tidy up done or um, my um, 10 item pick up because i'm going to concentrate get myself ready and get out the door but saying that did do a reset i'll quickly show you because we always say that yeah i've got my coffee down there medication ready da 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 i will say hobby is working on the steps for the caravan sorry i'm in quite a lot of pain this morning there we are Ignore those two bars, that's for another project. These steps, they can run expensive. And just the last sort of 12 months, I've been having a few problems, you know, um, having to grab the side of the caravan door um, to get up. Now, I know you can buy those um, handles you can put on the outside of the caravan. Not at that stage yet. But when we was at Jackson's of Old Arley in Warwickshire, um they did have the steps with the um handle but it mean paying out another 40 50 quid so i said you could buy the actual handle um for something like 10 pounds i think it was and i said to hubby i said i know it's more work but through the months we're not using a caravan can you not come up with something um, to do with the handle? So we got permission to take it out and look at it. And I said, can't you put this bar across then? Blah, 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 blah. I knew what I was saying, but hubby is the 
more um what do i say like mathematician and measurements and things i had these ideas and then as i said before his scribbling down on bits of paper and that so this is what he's come up with because this is the bit that was the problem down here it's just got to cover those nuts up um, due to little fingers like a granddaughter so this is going to help her this is the upright pole and then it comes up and it's got a loop now that was the bit that we bought this is the bit that had to be adapted else it meant yes we could have sold these steps as it meant paying out another 40 to 50 pounds if not more and i said no let's not do that but it, for about 10 pounds he's managed to um, work this out and it looks like it's going to be okay so it can be like this so if there's no problem in putting it um back in the cavern because it's the same width as the steps that bar and then the handle will just slot in if that makes sense hopefully we will show you that when we start caravanning and then say i've got that handle to hold to get up the steps so i'm not grabbing on the side of the door just a bit of support plus it'd be handy for our granddaughter as well because she might not be able to reach the 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 um handle but she can hold the pole to help go up the steps to give her a little bit more independence because at the moment we have to hold both of our hands to walk up the steps yeah that's enough again waffling about that um that's like um he do, my hubby does deal with metal work so he comes up with these well i i ask him can you do this can you do that um and he will then work it out and see if it's, it's possible most of the time i give him this idea or where i want to lead it and he works it out just like that you know it might take a bit of tweaking but he gets there <laughs> tick so that's something that is getting ready because in march we want to start our caravan season again um we, we're we've already booked in actually i don't know um middle of march right when the farm opens up they open on the thursday and we're going the next day um because that's our start to get the caravan prepped ready for you know longer journeys so again i'm gonna have to stop waffling um not be speedy gonzalez no <laughs> I am, I'm not there. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's first days. My hair's sticking up. I really could go back to bed. Not to not to go to sleep. I could easily go and take me coffee. I'm getting emotional. Coffee to go to bed, you know. But I'm not doing that. I don't ha often do that, if ever. Because it just, you know, throws me up for the day. I'd rather get things done and get out the door. Do you know what I mean? And get things done in the morning so yeah so i uh, hopefully i'll see you in a mo all right i am now ready to go out i've put this thick fleece on and it's got this like little um embroidery detail on it's quite thick and i've timmed it with my blue jeggings this is one that i haven't worn since beginning of last year so i thought well and she is really comfortable and it's quite you know i think it's because i felt it was quite tight before but um there's plenty of room in it actually now um so i thought well i'm gonna wear it see how it feels and um make a decision you know if i want to keep it or not but i think this might be a keep and um it feels really nice and again it's nice to wear something different so i'm off out now um to my craft group so I'm not sure what's going to happen afterwards because I need to actually take a prescription in. Um, so it might be where I'm going for a walk as well. But I'll see how I feel after craft group. If not, it'll have to be first in the morning. But I'd rather take it up to the centre today. Right, so I'm going to continue with um, Hubby's wardrobe. As I said, I've done three out of the five wardrobes. And it's mostly Hubby's clothes left besides under the bed. So I'm hoping to finish this wardrobe today. Um, the other evening I did do the top box and today I'm going to do hopefully the rest. So I'm just going to angle it down a little bit so you can see. So I've cleared 
the um, just draws up the, the end of our bed so I can empty this lot out and put it and spread it out on these just drawers so I like to take everything out so I can get to the bottom so I can clean it so that's what I'm going to do now That is all emptied, so I've, un I've taken off everything off the rail, and there is all his t-shirt, shirts, and everything. Yes, an awful lot. We're gonna have to start being really strict now on what we're gonna keep and what we're not gonna keep. Um, Hubby's left it to me at the present because he's still at work so I'm going to make some decisions and some I will put in a pile again like the jumpers we've got a little pile that I can share at the end of this video of what we are actually getting rid of not necessarily in this segment again certain things we're pulling out and replacing them for his work stuff and his ex-work stuff will be leaving my home. So that is where probably you would be possibly seeing more leaving out of his clothes. Um, yeah, again, here's another one. He tends to wear the same thing. So I'm going to try and, you know, sort of encourage him to wear other things. Um, he does have his favourites. I suppose everybody does. Um, especially when we're going away. Um, yeah, I do all the packing, I sort the clothes out, and he does tend to wear different items then, and I try and alternate them. I am the worst person, actually, of buying him t-shirts. I like the different slogans, I like buying different things, depending on what we're watching at the time. Say, years ago, um, we are hooked on NCIS, we still like NCIS, so he's got a few NCIS t-shirts, the same as CSI. And you probably see he's got Rambo, um, what else he's got A Team, you know. So, you know, some of them obviously reflect on what we're watching at the time or, you know, what we do enjoy watching. So I am not going to put them all back on the rail yet. I am going to just take everything out the bottom bit, clean that, then put everything back. Looking at it, it doesn't look as though there's a lot to get rid of. Um, so he's already got um, rid of one pair of trainers and he's wearing a new pair at the moment. So let's get on with this next piece. Right, um, yeah, I'll quickly go through um, because there's not an awful lot that goes at the bottom here and a lot of these pieces are quite old. Um, first of all, we do leave, funny enough, the um, tripod to what used to be the old video camera and our other camera, although I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with it. It was very expensive at the time. Um, Obviously, we use the old video cameras, but um, now it's all digital and everything, so it's a different um, matter. But I will ask him about that. Um, as I said, I know it was used for certain models. And as I have, he's got his wellies. Something that's not actually used frequently because we do have our hiking boots that we prefer to 
use but it's just handy to have these they've been used when we've had the really bad snow so that's something that um it doesn't take a lot of <laughs> there's room to store and let's put it that way each of us have got a, a pair of hiking boots and wellies um so we'll keep those um he does have his sandals um his moccasins and he does these are his best trainers for the more for the better weather these are air walk and um these are more of a um suede so not ideal really bad weather um these shoes are his i would say his newest pair and we got them so they are um got a good grip on them they're black quite heavy duty not the thin ones like we had he had the um sort of the point more pointier toe for our wedding but these were for our son's wedding over a year ago and we got them um more this sort of style because <laughs> funny enough it's it looks more like a trainer but it is actually a shoe and this was the most comfortable pair um hubby does sort of have to be careful his feet besides himself um because he has um really bad problems with especially um breaking in new trainers and shoes so that is his best um shoes um he does have here a spare pair of industrial um steel toe boots um yeah this is why he doesn't use gets through his a lot more because he wears the big boots obviously for work he does actually change in trainers backwards and forwards to work because even i can feel that just one boot they are heavy i can't believe it how heavy the boots can be um but he does get an allowance and most time the allowance does um cover um for boots or like a steel um toe trainer type um boot as well so that's his spare ones this pair here um, I'm not sure what make these are these were something like 70 to 80 pounds now I've never purchased anything to that extent um, but because his train seemed to last a lot longer and these are so many years old and what it is because there was a special one with the mesh and then I don't think you can see that that like the um, ventilation type mess mesh there um, they are Adas and the most expensive pair he's ever had and these were actually purchased um, when we the three times we've been to America Oops. he's been to America a lot more than I have but yeah for Florida and that um, with the heat and everything and um, you know just to ventilate a bit more um, so it has to be really really hot and that to wear these Mr. Mitt um, but still a good pair um, to keep this is the pair i have got a question mark on it's another pair of black shoes and if any pair is going to go it's going to be that pair so i will have to have a word with him when he comes back from work um because now he's got this pair here and got on really well with them for the wedding i think that pair can go and then like i said he does have his little blue basket at the bottom here and yeah jingle jingle <laughs> his elf boots there and any of the um slipper socks go in there as well so they tend to stay down there and then usually at the side side is any like thermal um insoles 
or we tend to have a lot of the gel ones i do as well from um you can get them from like um sports direct just to make your your shoe your inside of your shoes um sort of springy and more comfortable as i said um we've had them in all our shoes um especially ideal for the guys um wearing their boots all day it just gives that that little bit of extra comfort and gel so these are the sheepskin ones so I tend to keep some of those there so as you can see at this precise time didn't get rid of anything question mark on that pair of shoes but it has got rid of one pair of trainers at the start of um, this process so now I'm going to go through all his t-shirt shirts they're also um, colour coordinated as you've probably seen um, some of them I know that he wears regularly others so not so much and I'm hoping to pull out a portion to start using as work t-shirts now so let's get on to the rail Yeah, I just went to pick up this other t-shirt that I actually had um, for Christmas. I believe I bought him at Christmas or it was either um, Christmas time or 
just after I can't remember now because I know I got it in the sale and it's this ninja one so yeah I must remember not to buy any more t-shirts so because they're starting to get a lot of crease stops so I have taken a fair few out there is a fair few still um, that got question marks on so I'll just move the camera up so you've got my face in there we are that's better isn't it yeah there is a fair few that still got question marks on I haven't seen him wear them I've pulled ones out that I feel either by sight or what he's commented that they're a little bit tight you know on the arm and that um so I've pulled some of those out and some of his long sleeved shirt years ago I mean I don't know if things have changed it might be just me when we've been out and about so sometimes have his turned around to me and said are we a little bit overdressed you know because I've made him put dress trousers on and shirt and then they all turn up in jeans or whatever I know it depends on the occasion but because we don't we we sort of dress smart casual if that makes sense rather than dress up um you know best clothes and everything you know I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying so one of the things I have done is I've pulled out a lot of his long shirts long sleeve shirts but I've kept this one this is a Burton's one and I think it was something like 28 pounds which is a lot to me you know buying a shirt but it was for a son's wedding um because he just needed a new shirt that's why there was a slight delay at the start there was two other white shirts and i was trying to compare the um the collar size to the measurements because both hubby and my youngest son were actually measured chest legs everything you know for the suits the shirts and everything so and i noticed that this is a shade larger than the other two which I haven't seen two maybe three years I also I think pulled out a purple long sleeve shirt and a bottle green shirt I used to love seeing hubby in a long sleeve shirt and just casual but smart trousers rather than jeans if we went out anywhere you know rather than a white shirt because I think the coloured shirt looks smart but not overly dressed but I haven't seen him wear them maybe even longer maybe coming up to five years maybe longer and the only long sleeve shirt I've actually seen him wear and this was over a year ago was this one which was brand new um, as I say for my son's wedding so that is the only long sleeve shirt I think I'm going to keep I will um, clarify this with him but as I said, after looking at the collar size on that one and the chest size and everything, I think the others can go. Because I don't, as I say, he hasn't probably worn them in years and I can't see them comfortably, um, you know, fitting him. Um, there's quite a few Christmas t-shirts. You can guess who purchased though. Well, actually, who purchased most of these? And there is some, I say, that have got certain sayings on. A lot of... Um, caravan ones and then there's this one that you know I bought him for Christmas I wasn't listening so I'm going to smell not hope for the best he had a real good laugh over that he said yeah he admitted to it because half the time I keep saying we've had this conversation now we have yes we have do you not remember me saying this this and this some of it he says, yeah, it seems to uh, have sort of gone in here, but I think it's in one ear and out the other. Don't talk to hubby about anything that's important first thing in the morning, unless he has to be somewhere. Then I might have to make two, two or three messages just to make sure he's got to be somewhere. But, yeah, <laughs> because he's not a morning person. He has to have his caffeine before he can get going. I suppose like anybody. Like I said, there's a few question marks on some of them, but I'm not going to leave those out because there's a massive pile on the bed at the moment that I want to say him to say yay or nay to 
before we have a final decision. So I'm going to just pause it a moment and then I'll show you what's on the bed. Right, so here's the first pile on the bed. As I said, um, there is still a lot there, as you can see. Um, but as I said, we'll deal with this pile. I don't want to overwhelm hubby when he comes in from work. So this pile, there's nothing wrong with these t-shirts. These are sort of like um, the dark colours. So I've got this green one. I've got a couple of red ones. And I've got some black ones here. And a couple of blue ones. So all those, I'm hoping he's going to be agreeable and use them for now his work shirts. There's two white ones here, a couple of pale blue ones and a yellow one. I've pulled those out because I haven't seen them wear, him wear them. The white ones, he doesn't very often wear white um, shirts. Not ideal for work because they'll just get black and um, marked. But the yellow one may be for work. The only trouble is it's the worst colour to wear in the summer. Be alright to wear during the winter underneath a jumper not ideal he has got a couple of yellow ones um and one in particular I'll come back round and show you because i'm sure um i pointed this one out before and it's this one off to work i go <laughs> it's mr grumpy um that one's more of a pale yellow um, I've kept three um, yellow shirts in there. As I said, I tried to take some out of different colours. Um, but something else we have to watch, especially um, when we're weighing the caravan, is, yeah, I did actually take my jumper off. Gone back onto lilac and purple. And I've picked out my nail polish, which I'm hoping to do um, tomorrow, being it's Thursday, doing my nails and everything, because... Uh, we're hoping to be out a little bit um, over the weekend. So this is one of my older t-shirts, but it's so comfortable. So, but yeah, purple and lilac, my absolute favourite colours. Going back to these, yes. So that's something you have to be aware of, especially when we're away in the caravan, or any place actually in the summer, is do they attract insects because of the colours. Now, going back to those white shirts, um, well long sleeve shirts i've got two white here i've got a green one and i've got a purple one and a navy so that's one two three four five that's five shirts i'm pretty positive all those will be going and we just keep one white long sleeve shirt and the only t-shirt i've put a question mark on is this one because I'm looking at it, it I think it's actually the more stretchy material, but I've got a feeling that one won't do for work because it's too um, constricting, it's too tight. And I did find his best tie that needs to go in that wardrobe. So this little pile, well, reasonable pile, will probably now wait until he comes home from work. And then I'll just quickly go through them. As I said, I can't say how much will be going at this point until that wardrobe is completed. So I've got my extra light there to give me some extra light on the wardrobe. Yeah, this is the gift. We all had lovely gifts um, from the wedding. And I don't know if I can actually take this out one-handed. And um, my pieces, um, I had some lovely bits i had a purse i had um some owl pieces and things like that and this is because hubby was also a witness so it says thanks for helping to make our day so special and then if i bring it over a bit so you can see it more it says father of the groom it takes a great man to be a father like you and I love that coaster. 
I knew about the glass. I forgot. I must admit, I forgot about the coaster. And I'm thinking about, yeah, the coaster I will possibly put in the lounge, his side of the, um, his, where he sits. This glass is, if I'm not mistaken, like a whiskey glass. Now, hubby used to have, um, drink whiskey especially Christmas time birthday not so much now but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the glass cabinet downstairs in our lounge along with the set of glasses champagne glasses we had for our 25th wedding anniversary and I just think that'd be nice in there but the coaster I think he should use so yeah as I said use it or lose it but um like I said, um, a lot of the fancy glasses, I've even put um, battery operated tea lights in them, you know, so they are being used, but um, it's more of a container for the little candles. So, yeah, so I'm going to take a pause from this now due to the fact I want to have a drink. And I think it's because of this light here as well. I'm being upstairs. I am warm. I haven't got any heating on and I'm warm. But I have now got his wardrobe pretty much done now, this one anyway. Um, as long as it's okay with what I've pulled out, there is still going to be, I think through this year, I may even put a, another basket down here and start, you know, getting him to wear t-shirts or if he puts it on and doesn't feel very comfortable in it goes in the basket I think I'll probably do that whether I'll have a central basket for doing his and my and my clothes I don't know or whether separate basket but if he has a basket in his wardrobe he's more likely to do that rather than hang it back up hang it on the back door or just leave it on here so if I do it that way and put a basket at the bottom of his wardrobe I think that possibly will hopefully train him sounds awful doesn't it to put something in the basket that is not likely to wear it again so that is that wardrobe now hopefully completed I should know by the end of the day and um I may be concluding this video actually because I didn't get um, to take my prescription. I'm going to do that first thing in the morning, being Thursday after craft group and um, say I was there quite a long time and up and down on my legs and everything, you know, supporting my friend with the um, book journals we're doing. And uh, yeah, i um, been on this a little while now. Um, it's sometimes it's a bit more difficult when you're sorting somebody else's um, stuff out rather than your own but I will never actually get rid of anything without saying a yay or nay from hubby so I will show you quickly what I am getting rid of today um, this is from maybe stuff that I've pulled out but as I said the main um, count for this sort of um, segment will be probably after I've done that last wardrobe and obviously finished going through this lot on the bed so let me just show you what I'm pulling out right <coughs> excuse me right so the last few bits then for today that we're getting rid of um, these are one jumper and onesies from the other day but finally got say so to get rid of them so we have got um the second um onesie with the skeleton because this one's actually got paint on and he has got two here superman ones so he's got this one she's got super dad on with the cape the cape does come velcroed so it comes on and off is that one and then this other superman one which is quite a thin one um doesn't feel comfortable in it so i don't even think i think it's put it on briefly but um didn't didn't like it on and also um i've got a few tops that i did actually get rid of it's this um what do you call it rubbery plasticky um substance i don't know what you call it 
but I I've had it and um, it's not very comfortable I don't think for sleepwear especially if you're turning around and it, sometimes it can rub against your bed and I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying I had a t-shirt and it had and it was a gorgeous t-shirt it was um, a rabbit it was a rabbit blue pale blue with a rabbit but it had all this sort of plasticky um you know design on the front and it just stuck do you know what i mean so i got rid of that so that's that one um this jumper that i knew about as i said it did agree it it was felt too tight on the neck and then i did get the go ahead from my son finally to get rid of all the um fast and furious discs because he has actually got um them on blu-ray now so that is um two three four five six seven yes we've got one on blu-ray eight nine ten eleven twelve items so um yeah so a few from my son and a few from hubby's wardrobe as i said as soon as i get that last wardrobe sorted i'm hoping there's going to be a fair few items possibly even a suit yes possibly at least one suit because again he had a new suit for our son's wedding, so I think his old suit um, doesn't really fit him very well now, so at least that's something. So I'm quite happy with that, um, you know, um, result. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.